exhilarating off-road racing returned to Aldershot this weekend as the crews of the Rushmore Targa Rally descended on the former British Rally Championship stage. You see that everyone's using uh, low-cost cars. They're either daily drivers or uh, old cars. They're all running on road-going tyres, so there's nothing specialist. It's broadly standard. Uh, I've got a sump guard just to protect the underside. Um, and that's about it. It's a road car, it gets used to go to work, so it's a multi-purpose tool. Uh, I've done lots of events in it. Um, yes, it's a great little car. I've been rallying since uh, I was about 20, um, so that's coming up to 50 years. I've had the Peugeot for 20 years, and um, I've probably done a good couple of hundred. We're here at the start of the test, and the red micro is a number 24 car. It's just about to go on the start of the minute, and there we go. And then we go around, so the drivers got to go through each of these corner checkpoints, keeping an average speed of 30 miles per hour. But they've still got to try to get around the stage as quickly as possible. The test then finishes over here behind us after an array of cones around the complex of Rushmore Arena. And then they head from here back to scrutineering to make sure everything is as it should be on the car. Oh. It was wet, wet and frantic. Yeah, it's straight into it. There's no, no easiness into it there. A lot of water, surprise, surprise. But yeah, no, it was just fantastic. It's been great to welcome rallying back where it belongs here at Rushmore Arena in an event that I have no doubt will return again this time next year. Torrin Budd, Winchester News Online.